Hey Culture Trekkers, so I know I'm not a beauty expert, but a lot of people ask me, how is your skin so clear? I thought I'd go over kind of what I do for my skincare routine because you're not really a YouTuber unless you can do a skincare routine, right? I live in Utah. It's notorious for being dry weather. If you live in a humid environment, you might have to change this regimen to kind of fit what your skin does in those different environments. But for me, I personally suffer from dry skin a lot. And as we age, which believe it or not, I am 36 years old, as we age, our skin has the tendency to really dry out so you want to avoid things like it that are gonna dry your skin out like alcohol or powders because it's gonna absorb all that oil that keeps your skin nice and plump um, a good way to tell if you are dehydrated is to kind of what I do is I you can kind of see the, the lines how they don't quite go back to normal and here there's some fine lines there and under here and the dark circles and all that so I know that I need to hydrate more so that's something that you can work on to help your skin so first up cleansing the skin I just started doing this because as a teenager like that's not something my family would do we would never do that stuff so I started to really look in and research a lot of different things and please know that none of this is sponsored I will leave some Amazon affiliate links in the bottom just know I'm not being paid to say any of this the first one I use is the Paracone MD um, this is a cleanser that when you use it, this is the one that I use daily, it makes your skin feel so silky smooth and it has a bunch of different nutrients. Um, I, being someone who doesn't really do skincare very often, started using this and I mean, Amelia Clark uses this. So I started using it because she did. Yes, I am a fan of Game of Thrones and that is why I looked up what she did for her skincare routine. Because apparently she is, even if she's like totally drunk, she will still do her skincare routine, which I think is fabulous. Her mom apparently was a, what is that? An esthetician, beautician or something? Anyway, I don't know what the technical terms are, but she um, has very sensitive skin, um, Amelia Clark does, and so this is what she uses, because I also have very sensitive skin. So that's the one I use every day. And then this, you want to do some kind of like exfoliating cleanser as well. So I actually just do good old Trader Joe's, love Trader Joe's, and this is the Lavender Salt Scrub. And this one is really, really nice, um, just because it's kind of more, it's more natural, and um, so I'll show you the ingredients here. Um, I really like using this at least once a week just to kind of help get that dead skin off. My exfoliator, um, it's like an automatic round exfoliator that spins. It actually broke, so I can't show you that right now. But I also use that kind of on these areas like here and right through here, just to kind of get that blood flow going. So when you get that blood flow going, it actually helps with the collagen deposition, which collagen is that little protein that helps keep your skin plump and wrinkle free as you age. So this is where the magic really happens. After you do all that cleansing, you want to rehydrate, but first, this magical formula from Kiehl's it is all natural. It is also alcohol free, which is really important. And it's made from like whole flowers and herbal extracts. And you can honestly see it in the bottom of the bottle. This stuff is magical. And I really hate that word, so the fact that I'm using it, but what I do is I just put it on one of these round pads and I put, put, put ba, 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 ba. I put a pretty good amount and then I just go over kind of the hot spot areas. It says not to put it by your eyes, but if you're careful, 
just don't get it in your eyes. So I kind of go over all the areas where I know I get a bunch of wrinkles and then um, always make sure to do your neck so that you don't have a perfect face, which we all do. And then your neck is all wrinkly. So after I do the toner, and the toner just kind of helps tighten things up a little bit. After the toner, I do a vitamin C serum. And this combination, so I haven't taken my allergy pill yet. This combination, I did it with one of my friends, Kat Lynn from 42 Please. She is very, very particular and she loves luxury. So if you are a luxury type person, which I'm really not, then um, go ahead and follow her because she is great. So this is the vitamin. I don't know if you can see that, but this is a vitamin C serum, and I only put about this much on at a time so I don't waste it. But this helps to protect from like the cold and the UV. Um, it's not a sunscreen, so you still are going to need some kind of sunscreen, which I just use like the spray sunscreen um, and rub it in. You know, the misting kind that's aerosolized. Um, so I put a little each time, and then this is also moisturizing. So you're supposed to do like upward strokes so that you don't pull your skin down, but I'm not really like that. I just kind of like to slap things on, get out the door quick because I don't got time for that. All right, okay. <laughs> After I put this vitamin C serum on, it feels like I have gone to a spa and have just had a facial massage. That's how nice it is, those two combinations. Now, for the real amazing stuff, I've just fallen in love with this brand. So this is also Kiehl's and it is a ultra facial cream. Um, it is made from glacial glycoproteins and desert plants. So it helps retain the moisture in and on your face. Now it is quite expensive, but I have tried Aveeno. I have tried full on Vaseline on my face daily. This stuff is incredible. So I highly recommend that you use it if you have dry face like me. Sorry, Zoe is beneath me. Hi, Zoe. Nice a good girl. Yeah. You guys want to see Zoe? Come here. They want to see you look. Should we give you a facial too, huh? Are you smelling all the good stuff? Are you smelling all the good stuff on my face, huh? <laughs> all right. Back to it. All right. So I just put a little bit on my finger and then dab it around when I get out of the shower I actually will just take a huge hunk and then just spear it go like this and just rub it in until it's all absorbed um, I feel like doing this right when you get out of the shower is probably the best time to do it because the heat and the um, humidity will open up those pores your face is gonna be super clean and it will absorb the moisture so much better or the cream and the, the moisturizers and the vitamin C it will absorb all of that so much better so there you have it mini facial spa at home so guys i actually did this on my boyfriend and he absolutely loved it he's like wow that's really good and he is one of those doesn't do girl stuff okay he is very machismo so there you have it. There's my skincare routine. If you have any questions, let me know. And as a bonus, um, I just wanted to show you this. This is a Hava. Again, none of this is sponsored. But when I went over to Jordan, to the Dead Sea, they 
bring they this is what this is made of is dead sea minerals this also along with the paracon md cleanse daily cleanser um i use this once a week on like an opposite day like i'll use the salt scrub on a monday i'll use this on a friday and then i'll use the paracone md in between all those days um but this one i leave it i put it on it's really quite thick over in so i don't know if you can see how thick that is you kind of really have to squeeze it to get it out but it's truly a mud mask when I went over to Jordan, they were selling these. It was so expensive, but you can honestly buy this right off of Amazon for so much cheaper. It's definitely worth it. It lasts a really long time and it leaves your skin feeling so silky smooth. And it's not as drying as some of the other stuff that I used. So hope this helps all you dry faced people like me um and if not if you have kind of an oil oily skin i am not a beautician but just kind of showing you what i use but if you do have that oily skin please leave your suggestions in the comments below i would love to hear what you do so that we can all kind of benefit from it so all right ladies and gents see you later bye <laughs>